Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews, back for another episode today. Of course, as the wind just starts blowing, whatever. Uh, but today, we have the Buffalo Bags Conflict. You guys know how I feel about Buffalo Bags. Uh, only thing that they are missing is a stamp, and it is coming. So, pretty awesome there. Uh, these were sent to me by Mike, one of their reps. I'm sure you've seen him on the sites. Uh, this is his personal set, so I do have to send them back, but... Graphics are sweet. I mean, these are awesome. It's the Ambassador Series. You're not able to get these. Um, these are for people that are basically ambassadors to the company. Uh, but this design is awesome. I love it. But the cool part is Mike even sent a letter with them. Uh, he sent me the M1s also. So I already did the M1, but that was actually the lava carpet is what that bag was. It was an older style of M1, and they've revamped stuff a little bit. So I have the current M1 as well. I will get to those, but basically I just wanted to read what Mike said about the conflict here and then I'll, uh, I'll get into my spiel, but Mike says the conflict it is a five, nine rated carpet game ready right out of the box and only gets better with time medium to full feeling in the hand with plenty of that good floppy feel carpet side is forgiving and plays true to the throwing line sets up blocks nicely with some finesse and will even flop and roll. Sorry, sets up blocks nicely and with some finesse will even flop and roll. I can't do that doesn't matter fast side is just that fast but controllable pushes well after you set up a good block or when you need it to be a bully on the boards both the carpet and fast sides are incredibly hole friendly right out of the box and just get more and more buttery smooth over time and he goes side note i have conditioned these conflicts and thrown them a bit he did downy wrinkle guard in hot water uh for 45 minutes he hand washed with dawn as he should and then he set him out to dry in the sun because you know california it's always hot and shit uh, after they were dry, I tumbled them for a quick 20 to 30 minutes on no heat just to beat them up a little more. They've been played for about eight games. So they haven't been played with a ton. Um, I agree with most of the statements. I disagree with the speeds a little bit, but we'll get to that. Uh, but my favorite part is, uh, at the bottom, you know, he, he wrote a nice letter to me and he's just a super nice guy, but he said, PS, it's okay if you front board one or two, haha, no bad throws, only happy accidents, you know, like Bob Ross style. I just, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, Mike is a super, super nice guy. I've, I love talking with him daily. Uh, I talk with him all the time about bags and, you know, how I just want the stamp to come and I'm going to hold their whole line up. You know, it's just, he's such a nice guy and he's made this process really, really cool getting, you know, Buffalo bags in my hand, letting me hang on to them for as long as I need to with my busy work schedule and stuff. He's just, he's awesome. So uh, let's get into price. They're 69 bucks on their website. That's it. Haven't really seen them aftermarket. Um, I'm not sure why, because people, they just don't really know about them yet, but they really, really need to. Uh, they're sweet. Uh, Break-in method. Like you said, he did the wrinkle guard and then uh, just did a soak with those, washed them at dawn, and then uh, let them air dry, tumbled them a little bit after that just to break them in. Not bad. They feel pretty nice. Uh, the speeds. They're claimed 5.9. I could see like 4, 8 to 9, somewhere in there. Uh, the five, it's, this carpet's kind of sticky. And I mean, the boards are, they're playing a little stickier today. Just the sun's been beating down on them. It's a little humid out. Not bad though, but I'd, I'd say they're like four to five, eight to nine, something like that. Three Fs, fill, feel, and flop. Uh, the fill, it's Buffalo's fill. All the bags have the same fill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I love it. It's awesome. Asymmetrical, nice and, it just feels good. They feel good in your hand. Uh, the feel, obviously I just touched that. They feel good. Corners are awesome. Seams are great. Closing stitch is nice and small, really tight. Uh, the materials feel awesome. They feel like high, high quality. I love this carpet. Show you guys this. I just love this carpet. Something about this material. I just really like how it acts. And those are just sweet. Uh, and then flop. They're they're fairly floppy for a carpet bag. <laughs> ah, here it comes. Can't roll down the whole driveway because then she'll go running into the road. Uh, pretty floppy for carpet, but not wild. I could definitely get on board with it. And then playability. I'm going blocks and pushes. Um, yes. You like that reaction time? I'm going blocks and pushes. Uh, he says flops and rolls. I can't do that. You might be able to, but I'm not able to, but heck let's throw them, you know, let's see how they go. Tend to throw them fairly well. All right. Kick that way, babe. Okay. Tend to throw them fairly well. Uh, the slow side is very slow though. I will say that. I don't know why you know, he, they claim five, nine. I think it's probably four, eight to nine. Like I said, this slow side just does play a little slow. Uh, it doesn't necessarily hang up on the whole 
but it also isn't like crazy hole friendly. But the fast side is crazy hole friendly, so it's the give and take. So sorry. Okay, over there, please. <laughs> Apologize. That's it's a nice day. She's gonna be out here, just causing havoc. So I threw that one a little high, but I also threw it kind of deep. So it kind of just hit and stopped. Front boarded because uh, she was right there. See, she kind of hits and stops. Um, they're not incredibly fast. Again, kind of hit and stop. Surprised it knocked that one off. I do really like this carpet though. I mean, it's, I might like the lava carpet a touch better. We'll say that, but. This is actually one of my favorite bags in their lineup. Um, I like this one better than the actual M1 carpet. Uh, the M1 that I reviewed is the lava carpet. You guys know that, but I keep having to say it because, you know, some people refuse to read and refuse to listen. So um, I really do like, see, I, I threw that one a little hard. That was on purpose. I really do like this carpet. A little wind. And it worked out for me. So see, the, the carpet's not like wildly hole friendly where it's just going to fall in. But if I get a good... Good low hard one here, it shouldn't be an issue, which I missed. But if I had another bag, I might be able to clean that up. I just, I really like this, this slow carpet side. And what's cool about this, I think it's a really, really good bag for like a beginner. Um, the slow side is definitely slow enough to keep on the board. Fast side, uh, might have to loft it a little bit, which we're going to go to here just to see. Yeah, see, I lofted and then. Didn't quite stay on, but I missed the hole. I should be fine. Yep. Just lost them a little bit. I mean, you just, you got to change your throw on uh, slow side to fast side. Totally missed that one. Get in. Yeah. It's, it's quick. I mean, the eight to nine is legit. It's legit eight to nine. Nice shot, babe. It is a legit eight to nine. Um, you know, the nine might actually be more accurate. Earlier, they were playing a little slower. Now it seems like this sped up a little bit. They just, they climb. So if you can get in, we were close. And you can see the wind's kind of affecting those a little bit. Ah, I totally missed that one. But it kind of stayed. Now I got two bumpers. I mean, how can I miss this shot, right? You're about to see how I can miss this shot. Well, I didn't. Well. How about that? It's just, it's awesome. This bag, I love these bags. I do. The design is sweet. I know that you can't get this design anymore, but the design is sweet. Buffalo bags always have sweet designs. I will say that. All their designs are basically sweet. Um, wind just started whipping now. Let's go back to slow side here. Oh, don't hit her. <laughs> uh, slow side again. Trying to lay a block. See if I can lay a block. Scoop it. Oh, why she decided to bring this ball outside right now, I don't know. Come on. No, come on. I don't know why. That's not really a block. I'll be able to bully that, though. See? Little bully right out of the way. Back slid right in. Definitely had enough speed to push through. Still be able to fall in. This fast side's nice. You know, it's, you guys know I'm more of a slow side thrower. This fast side is sweet. Uh, it's just, it's a touch fast, just for me personally. But that slow side, I mean, it's just, it, you can't really miss too much. I mean, it's, if you miss, it's not really like a bad miss. Kind of trying to lay a block and I can't. Um, See if I can pull it in. It'll be a great shot if I can pull it in, but I doubt it. Trying to spin it. Just trying to spin it in. Have them both drop in. And I will say, this slow side, it, it does not kick. Um, as far as a lot of carpets are concerned, you know, that slow side tends to kick. This one doesn't really kick. It goes exactly where you put it, and that's it. Slow side there. Just struggling laying that block right now. A little tougher with uh, the peanut running around. 
Got to keep my eye on her. Let's go fast side here. She climbs right up and falls in. It's no problem. Let's see if they air mail. They do. Whoop. They do air mail. Not a whole lot of bags air mail for me, but shows you how much I like buffalo. I, I just really like their bags. I cannot wait for them to get stamped, and it's coming. It's just a matter of time, but I cannot wait. Love their bags. Oh, I wanted that just a little bit left. Let's go slick side and use it as a bumper maybe, or just totally avoid it. Just missed the hole there. That was it. Yep, and this one should be able to bring them both in. Oh, no, caught up on that bag on the right, but they're sweet bags, guys, honestly. I, I did not throw them as well as they can play. I will say that. But Buffalo Bags Conflict, one of my favorite bags in their lineup. Uh, it is awesome. I really like the Lava Carpet a lot as well, uh, but this one is a really close second, and then probably the M1 uh, Carpet Ride comes after this one because that's a sweet bag too. So I would head over to their website, check it out, uh, buffaloboards.com. They're awesome. Uh, they really care about their customers, which is really cool. I mean, Mike is doing this, you know, sending me bags just so I can review them. He says basically, do what you want with them. Don't care. You know, the M1s that I got, I'll I'll tell you guys in that review, but he sent them to me brand spanking new. I know. He sent them to me brand spanking new and said, do what you want with them. I trust you. So I will get your ball. Hang on one minute, please. So it's just, they're really cool. They want to get their, uh, get their name out there. They're awesome, awesome to deal with really enjoy talking with them and i just really support their product so if you guys want you know go check out buffalo bags this is the conflict but you can't really go wrong with anything in their lineup they're all awesome so that's the short and sweet guys buffalo bags conflict if you guys enjoyed this one please give me that thumbs up like subscribe share it with your buddies and i'll catch you on the next one thanks